All right, guys, let's finish, or not finish, we're gonna add the next part to our dragon story. So if you remember way before we had our nice long break, I wrote you a story. My main character was Clancy the dragon. We're gonna find out what happens to him. So, pop! Remember, you have to have a hook to grab your readers. Sometimes you can throw in a sound, sometimes you can throw in like somebody speaking, but you can just start it out really cool like that with some sort of loud noise and it gets everybody's attention. So, pop! Clancy the dragon was chomping his teeth. He had a terrible toothache. It put him in a bad mood. Suddenly, he heard a knocking on the door. It was a knight. The knight said, I'm looking for a dragon to slay. May I slay you? So, we introduce our characters. The characters have a problem. The problem gets worse and worse, and then finally we find a way to fix the problem, and we give it an ending. So, I've just not introduced the problem. Clancy has a toothache. It got a little bit worse when who showed up? A knight. And what do knights do? Hmm. They like to slay dragons. So what do you think Clancy should say back to the knight? We're going to find out. So I got my pen because I think we can see better with my pen. Let's talk about, ooh, ooh, can you see me? Here we go. Let's talk about how to hold it again. Remember, these two guys rest on your hand. You hold your pen like a so, and then he rests against the back of your hand. And I'm not sure what's going on with this guy today. All right, here we go. Oh, Clancy roared. And remember, the more details you can add to your story, the better. A terrible, loud, Earth shattering I use my best handwriting roar now this is a special sentence it shows a lot of excitement a lot of exciting things happening here so instead of just putting a period and reading it like this and oh, Clancy roared terrible loud or shattering roar hmm, yawn we put an exclamation mark on top that shows excitement. Clancy roared a terrible, loud, earth shattering roar. He went roar. The night. Shivered. In his. Remember, add all the details you can think of. Clanky. Armor. He's going to talk, so I'm turning his voice on. I guess that's a no. He asks politely. We have our story. Thanks again, toothache. Night come in. Thanks he wants to know, or the night wants to know if he can slay him. Thanks he roared a terrible, loud, earth-shattering roar. The knight shivered in his clanky armor. I guess that's a no, he asked politely. That means that Clancy told him, no, you cannot slay me. Okay, I'm going to leave that part right there. We've added a little bit more to the problem. So you want to keep your readers in suspense. You want them wondering, well, what happens next? Does Clancy get slain? Does the knight get scared and run away? Why is the knight even there? So many questions. You want your readers asking questions and as you write ask yourself questions and try to answer them in your mind like right now i'm asking myself what do i want to do with the night how do i want to end my story how do i want to keep you guys at home in total suspense wondering what will happen next so i know this is a lot to write and i know that you guys are not writing that much yet but starting very soon we're going to be working on book writing i'm going to help you plan books we're going to try to do a page in our book a day. And when your book is done, you are going to send it to me. And I'm going to make a special author's corner in my writing room for you to share any books that you give me permission to share when you're done writing them at home. So that's going to be really, really exciting. We're going to have videos of you reading and writing your own books that I can share with everyone else. So I'm very excited about that. And you guys just keep up your writing. Again. This is to show you how to build a story. And pretty soon I'm going to be walking you through it step by tiny little step. And you guys got this.